this is how the smiley face killer happens because they jump in the water and then they can't get back up. All right, so I'm here in Chicago. I was supposed to be here to do the Jets Chiefs Sunday night stream, but Aaron Rodgers got hurt. So I have really nothing to do on Tuesday. We do macrodosing Monday and Wednesday, so I have a whole day of Chicago to myself. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to all the places in Chicago and investigate things that interest me. We're gonna be looking for the smiley face killer. We're gonna go to the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, actually just the Valentine's Day Massacre. We're gonna be doing all sorts of stuff, trying some Chicago stuff. We're just gonna have a day in Chicago, see what happens. Chicago residents have been said to have some of the highest gun violence in the world. Yo, right, yo, 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 shit, 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 fuck. Easy work. Just got robbed in Chicago. So according to Google Maps, this is where the Valentine's Day massacre took place. So basically what happened is these dudes, these Irish dudes who were in a gang, pissed off Al Capone by like robbing all of his liquor runs coming from Canada down the Detroit River. And Al Capone was like, fuck these dudes, I'm gonna go kill them. So he like kind of got help from some police officers, maybe because the police were pissed at the same gang because they might've killed a police officer's son. So these two dudes trust his policemen and these two other dudes walked in here and pretended they were about to arrest the whole gang that was like chilling out, like doing gang stuff like one morning and they told them to get up against the wall like this. So like they made this whole gang just stand up against the wall like this, you know, like they're about to pat them down. So there's just a whole line of dudes. And then the two dudes pretending to be cops took out Tommy guns and just sprayed them. Like, <laughs> and just like totally mowed them down. And then the whole gang died. And then the two cops pretended that they were arresting the two dudes not dressed as cops and then walked out with him like this. So then everyone thought that like, it was a shootout with the cops. Then they escaped. Al Capone never got uh, popped for it. And the four dudes have not been identified who did the shooting and like killed like eight dudes on the wall. Yeah, Al Capone was in Flo Florida the whole time and he never got in trouble for it. So that's what I know about the Valentine's Day massacre. The, this is totally a building that was new and not like, this isn't the actual building. This is a senior citizen's home. Actually, some of the people in this building might have been alive when the murders happened. Like that is, that's what it's I here now. Yeah, so like, <laughs> there's probably people in there who know who did the Valentine's Day massacre. Yeah. But like, these, these could be bullet holes. I'm not sure, but like, look, those could be bullet holes from the, from the massacre but we'll never know. Yo, so we're here outside the Biograph Theater where John Dillinger got shot. John Dillinger robbed 24 banks in four police stations. And that's pretty wild because who the hell would rob a police station? Wouldn't that be the one place that you'd be like more likely to be arrested? But that's just how badass he was. They said he was like the Robin Hood bank robber of the Great Depression. The police hated him so bad that he was walking out of this theater. The FBI agent was there, he was walking, he started running, he got pop, 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 pop. But it was ruled a justifiable homicide by the police, but they shot him in the back. You know, police brutality laws weren't taken that seriously back then because J. Edgar Hoover hated the guy because he made the FBI look stupid in four different states. But yeah, he got shot right outside this theater. And some people say there's even a bullet hole somewhere. They say there's a bullet hole somewhere that is from the shootout. But yeah, that's where John Dillinger died. Who would have thought coincidentally there's actually a mural dedicated to John Dillinger right next to the place he was shot. That's a pretty badass quote. All my life I wanted to be a bank robber, carry a gun and wear a mask. Now that it's happened, I guess I'm just about the best bank robber they ever had. And I am sure am happy. Huh, that's him. John Dillinger, pretty badass dude. Johnny Depp was probably the best actor to play him. On a more serious note, there's a threat that leaves 18 to 25 year old males shaking in their boots in the city of Chicago. That threat is the smiley face killer. Many men have been seen leaving places of great vibes, 
drunkenness, imbibing, celebration, and then found the next day in the river. Many times near their bodies, there are graffitied smiley faces, the calling card of the killer. Join me as I try to investigate where these men could be going, what could be happening to them, and whether the smiley face killer is still amongst us. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. All right, well, we found the graffiti, but now we just need to find the smiley face. This, this could be a frowny face. Yes, or boobs. Funny enough, not only does the killer use spray paint, but spray paint was invented in Chicago in 1949 by Edward H. Seymour. So, it's almost appropriate that a killer from Chicago would use spray paint. It's a damn shame it takes someone like me to start trying to care for the very vulnerable community that is 18 to 25 year old males. White males. White males. There's just not enough people looking out for them. So, I'll take it upon myself. Does that look like a smiley face? I'm not seeing any smiley faces. No smiley faces? Penis and vagina? There's a face. I don't know if it's smiling. That could have been a smiley face. That actually, that actually looks like a lot, like a smiley face. It's like that, a literal braid of hair right here. All right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. We're not, leave it to the cops, I'm not, no, no, we're done. That is gross. I know, but also there's a car that is running with absolutely blacked out windows and we should probably get out of here. So no smiley faces, smiley bear. Oh my God. Our first smiley face of the day. Just where they said it would be, under a bridge. This could be our guy. He's close. Actually, let's just leave it to the police. I, I don't want to be, this, that's fucking freaky. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm out. Now begin our search for the elusive Chonkosaurus. Spotted in the Chicago River a couple months ago. Locals say that Chonkosaurus is addicted to hot dogs. So we're gonna chum the waters and look for Chonkosaurus. Chonkosaurus is said to be an ambush predator, so I'm gonna get close to the water line and hopefully we can see him get up. It's a lot farther than it looks. So he might be living underneath the boardwalk. So we want to lure him out, pieces of hot dog. Maybe like bigger pieces. Got to make sure to get that good hot dog water in there. He'll smell it. No, you just wait. Actually, this is, this is how the smiley face killer happens because they jump in the water and then they can't get back up. Have you seen Chonkosaurus? The thing is, this is prime Chonkosaurus territory. Oh my God, look. Look, look, look. Can you see that under the water? Something got it. Look. We're close. Oh, look, look right here. You see those swarming fish? This is where Chonkosaurus is. I don't know how long it's gonna take. The thing is, if we stay here long enough, he's gonna come out. Have you seen Chonkosaurus? The thing is, this is perfect common snapping turtle habitat. Why don't we walk down the river? Maybe we'll find... Oh, huh. Realistically, the odds of us actually finding Chonkosaurus right now is very low. <laughs> Did you think it was high before? No. So unfortunately, that concludes our hunt for Chonkosaurus. Uh, Chonkosaurus, really a, a large common snapping turtle. This was supposed to be the habitat they've been spotted in, but unfortunately we didn't find any. 
Maybe hot dogs weren't the best bait. They are Chicago common snapping turtles, so I thought they'd be a little more welcoming to that food. Till next time, Chunksaurus. So, welcome to the Wiener Circle. Uh, this is a classic Chicago joint. It turns out the people inside curse at you the whole time while you order. So check it out. What else? That's it? Just a hot dog? Yes, please. Six dollars, motherfucker, please. Do you take credit card by chance? That's all we take. Perfect. Read the fucking sign. Okay? Oh, perfect. What about Apple Pay? Awesome. Use your noodle. Sign the receipt. Thank you. Especially for that chin. <laughs> a side shot of him eating it with the chin. <laughs> what the fuck is that? All right. Chicago style dog. And pussy juice. Lots of pussy juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's got a lot of vegetables on it. I'm not really, yeah, it's full tomatoes. I'm not really a fan of vegetables. It's really good, just too much vegetable. I like poppy seeds bun, pop on a drug test. Really good. All right, trying my Lord for the first time. Chicago specialty. Smells like alcohol. That's really interesting. Thank you. It tastes like, it tastes like a digestive. It doesn't really taste like alcohol. It tastes like a medicine that my grandma gave me once. It's like bitter? It's not that crazy. I'm gonna be honest, not as bad as everybody says it is. Kind of overrated from that front. If you were to tell me that like taking a shot of that like helps me when I'm sick or something, I would do it. it tastes like medicine. Malort, overrated. And now for our final excursion in Chicago, we are going to be giving Lake Michigan a review. It's Lake Michigan, right? Yeah. It's Lake Michigan. We're giving Lake Michigan a review. I'm an ocean guy, uh, so we'll see how it compares to northeastern lakes. And I'm an ocean guy too, Billy. Ocean guy. So Ocean guys, but hey, this is pretty damn good for a lake. We'll check out, like, compare and contrast oceans with great lakes, with small lakes, lesser lakes, and ponds. So let's check it out. Donnie, would you like to lakes. join me? I would love to join you. Let's I'll, go. I'll get back in. Great Lakes Review. Let's check it out. Would you compare this to New York? Uh, I think the East River is well, a little better than this. Wait, no, the East River is not cleaner than this. <laughs> the East this. River sucks. Way uh, better than the East River. Well, I need some water next to big cities. Way better than the East River. All right, I got to go. It's weird because it's cold like an ocean, but there's no salt. So it almost feels dirty like a lake. You know how oceans are fresher than lakes yeah. in your mind? Like you just feel more refreshed. But it's cold enough and big enough to give you like clean. Yes. And the water is definitely like, there's a lot of water. How was it? Here's my review of Lake Michigan. It's cold like an ocean, but it doesn't taste like an ocean. It feels clean because it's big and cold, but the lack of salt doesn't give it that freshness that the ocean has. But I would definitely rank it right under ocean, this body of waters. So it goes ocean, Great Lake, running river, because the running river is fresh as fuck. Then it goes lesser lake, pond, drainage ditch. So that's the scale. Ocean's still number one. But it's nice because it definitely feels sterile because it's a large body of fresh water. But we definitely swim in there again, but we prefer the ocean. It's like, look, there's like no salt on my skin drying. That's just an extra add. 
and it's harder to swim in there. Also, it took a really long time to get deep. You couldn't tell I was running for a long time, but decent body of water. Thanks for checking out Chicago with me. It was amazing having you with me and uh, definitely would recommend the city to check out. Want to move? Yeah, let's get a beer. Thank you.